record. Okay. So we're heading uh, 330. We're doing 15 knots. We have this target here on the starboard side. And this is the 12 mile range, okay? So 12 mile range. So I've got a target here. She comes up, she's around about 11 miles. Then six minutes later, she comes here. And then six minutes later, she's here. If I was to extend, so this becomes O, and this becomes A. So if I put that at 0, 0, that's 0, 6, and that's 0, 12. She is coming down quite fast, isn't she? So if I join those three together, and then I can see that would be her CPA. So what I need to do to find the CPA is I just need to drop a right angle there. So a right angle, that's going to be the nearest point of approach, the closest point of approach. So that distance there is just one mile. Would you think that in restricted visibility that would be a good idea? Mm -hmm. So let's actually see what she's actually doing. So that, if that was the case, what I need to do is if I use this as a, a template. Okay, so that's going to be 12 minutes. So she's going to be here at, at 0, 024. And she's now going to be here at 0, 036. Okay. Well, in actual fact, she's here at the moment, isn't she? So that becomes 12 minutes, and this becomes uh, in 24 minutes, because she's here now, yeah? And I'll explain the difference in a, in a minute. So what I need to do is I need to work out what's her course and speed. <coughs> so if I run a line parallel <coughs> to my heading marker, and what I need to know is that I have done, this is over 12 minutes, and she's done 15. So I need to do 15 knots. How far have I gone in 6 minutes? Well, 6 minutes equals 0 0.1 of an hour. So that becomes 1.5 miles. So 12 minutes e times 2 equals 3 miles. And we tend to keep it simple. You know? So 3 miles measured down here. You follow it so far? Yep. Yeah. So three miles down here, would, that would be three miles. So that becomes W. And so what I do now is I just join W to A, and that is her course. That's the way that she's actually heading. So if I put that there, Okay. So, which side light would I be seeing? So I'm going to see her red side light. <coughs> okay. What I need to do is I need to work out what's her aspect. Am I forward of her beam? Yeah. Is she also the giveaway vessel? Yeah, because there it's on a restricted restricted visibility. She's on a steady bearing, I'm on a steady bearing to her. So we both give way. So what I need to do is what's her course? Well, if I come down, run parallel, her course is two five zero. Is two five zero and her speed Her speed is three miles in the same, so her speed must be, anybody? 15. So she's doing three miles in 12 minutes. So same as us, yeah, 15 knots, yeah. CPA is one mile, we said time of CPA is uh, 
in 24 minutes time and now I need to work out what the aspect is aspect being the way that I would actually see her so we've just said that I'm going to see her red side light so it would be aspect would be red so how did you get the WA line? so WA I've just joined W my line is O my line uh, my course and speed oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is OW and the apparent together is OA. All I've done is joined WA. So what I need to do is I need to take a reciprocal bearing of her at this particular time. So if I run this bearing through the center line there and I work out what is her course on 250 So what I've done, in actual fact, I've actually calculated that angle there. Is that angle there. So if I take 192, 197 through to 25, we'll call it 250, okay? So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 53 degrees. So it'll be red, 53. Yes? So you know the start bit when you when you move your course on the start with the O. How do you know which side? When I when, so here she was, yeah? yeah. Then she was six minutes later she was there. Then six minutes later she was there. Yeah. So what are you asking, Kieran? And what what I mean is when you move your course across. Right. So it so it goes from out, it goes from out, uh, so my course is that one. How do you know which side of the first point you want to find the So I need to take it off the first point that I, that I actually saw him at. Yeah, no, but like, I mean, like above it or below it, like, I don't know if I'm explaining that wrong, but... Yeah, the other side, you can go and... No, but... Can you check on, shall we? So, right, the boat was there. Yeah. How would you know whether to run this that way or that way? Well, I always run, this is me, yeah. Yeah, and I'm doing 15 knots in that direction. So I always have to do the reciprocal because I'm always in the center for a, a relative bearing. Yeah. So it always has to be, that's, that's where it starts. Let me start again. So if I was to give me a course, because sometimes it just it's a bit strange when you, when you change the courses round a little bit. Um, zero three seven. What? Okay. Let me. Let me just see. Let me do this again. Let me just show you how it would have...